Welcome back. Well, last week, Wendy emailed me a picture of an urn that her turning club had made for one of their members who had passed away. And I know the base isn't the same, but I had an hour and a half on my way to Corvallis last weekend, and this is what I came up with. It's about 12 inches tall, and the urn is about six and a half inches in diameter, and it's out of maple and walnut. Let's go ahead and get started. The wood chop is sponsored by This is a piece of maple I got from Kim when I was down in Corvallis last weekend. It has some beautiful burl on one side of it, and the rough size here is about 7x7x12. Seven by seven by and the mask I'm wearing in the video, Josh from RZ Industries sent it to me a few weeks ago. I've been wearing it in the shop almost every day, and it works great. It has replaceable filters, it doesn't fog up your glasses, and they're doing a giveaway. I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of the video. All right, I have it all hollowed out. I went ahead and sanded that little lip I had there off. I, I don't know, when I put the lid on, I just didn't like it. So the lid's still a little bit tight, but I'm gonna sand that up with 220 and clean it up. So I'm gonna bring the foot down a little bit more before I sand it though. And before I do that, I need to drill a hole through it for the stand. I'm gonna have it come out about right there and then down here. Um, 
So I'm going to use a piece of tape, wrap a piece of tape around it, use a Forstner bit. This one's going to be a little bit bigger and this one will be a little bit smaller. Real quick, I just wanted to show you this. So if you're gonna do something like this, the taper needs to come from the inside. So I took the sandpaper, just stuck it in there and then slid the dowel in so that it's it's making it bigger on the inside there. So when I'm done here, this will be actually be flush all the way around there. And because if you go in from the other side, you're not gonna get it, your thing to line up. All right, so I just ripped a piece of walnut. It's a little over six by a little over inch and a half, but that's all gonna vary depending on what size you're making. So I took a piece of copper, stuck it through there, bent it kind of the shape I want. Actually, I'm gonna have it come down more, a little closer to the center, but the bottom hole is an inch, so at minimum I need, need that an inch, but I'm gonna have it be a little bit bigger down here. So I'm just going to trace around this thing and make sure that it is an inch. And it's going to go into the urn right up in here somewhere. So I will um, cut that off and then I'll make another little one at a piece down here or something. But I'm just going to trace this out and then take it over on the bandsaw.
Okay, got that all sanded up, went up to 600, and this is gonna go in there just like that. It's gonna get cut off about right there, and there'll be a, I'm gonna use this part right here for a, the base of it. There we go. And after I got these little guys here glued in, I went ahead and sealed the whole inside of it with lacquer to fill in any little voids that were in the burl or anything else. And the body of it is nine inches tall and almost six and a half. But I'm gonna refer you over to Sam Angelo's channel, The Wyoming Wood Turner. He does a lot of urns, and I believe in a couple of his videos he explains how to measure the volume and everything for it. And I know I made it as an urn, but it really, it really doesn't have to be. But I had a lot of fun with that, and I really like the way it came out. And again, it's about 12 and a half inches tall and out of maple burl and walnut. So I will re-edit some of the footage on that and go over that on the follow-up on Monday. And the link to my follow uh, to my Q&A channel is right there. I'm going to get you over there one way or another. All right, the mask, the RZ mask. I want to thank Josh at RZ Industries. Thank you so much. I've been wearing this thing for about three weeks now. It has a replaceable carbon filter. It's very comfortable. It doesn't fog up my glasses. So they're doing a giveaway on their Facebook page. I'll put a link down below to that in the description. They're doing it through the weekend, so you can go over there and sign up. It comes with a storage bag for it too. You can buy replaceable the replaceable filters for it on their website, and they come in a variety of colors. I want to thanks again, guys. All right, if this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. And if you haven't done so yet, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out. All right, until next time, take care.